Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the bar of negligible weight is supported by two springs, each having a stiffness K of 100 newtons per meter. If the springs are originally unstretched and then the force is vertical as shown, determine the angle theta that makes uh, that the bar makes with the horizontal when the force applied at the point C is 30 newtons. So let's do this problem, guys. Look that we're going to have a force going up here and a force going down here, right? And this force we're going to call F of B, and this calls we're going to call F of A. Since the other points are B and C, I'm going to call this point A. Now, this is not the state that the problem is at. This is the initial state, so don't let that confuse you. The state that the bar is at is a state that looks somewhat like this, where this force is going down, there's a force here going up, and then we have the 30 newtons here, right? And this is the angle theta that they want us to find. And we're going to call this f of b, and we're going to call this f of a, and you know that from here to here, there's one meter, and then from here to here, there's two meters. One meter, two meters. So this is the, the diagram that we should really be drawing when we're doing this problem. Now, look at the forces that we have to find. We ha I mean, the variables that we're trying to find. We have f of a, f of b, f of b, and theta. So I'm going to do the moments around point A just to find f of b. You could also do the moments at f of b to find f of a, and then find f of b. That would be right too, but I'm just going to pick this one. So sum of the moments at A, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to zero, and is equal to the moment created by F of B, which is F of B times the distance from here to A. That distance, remember this is also theta, is given by two cosine of theta. Why two cosine of theta? Because this is two, this is theta, so that distance is given by 2 cosine of theta. This is basic trigonometry. And it's trying to turn it um, clockwise, so it's negative. Then we have f of c, which is, I'm sorry, the 30 newton meter force. I'm calling it uh, f of c in my notes. And it's times 30 newtons times the distance from here to here, which is the point A times 30 newtons, and that distance is given by 3 cosine of theta because that's the length of the whole rod, rod. And it's trying to turn it clockwise, which means that, I'm sorry, counterclockwise, which means that it's positive. So, uh, we have two, ver uh, two variables here, we have theta and we have f of b, but look, cosine of, of beta is in both, so you could divide both sides of the equations by cosine of beta, cosine of theta, cosine of theta. So zero divided by anything is still zero. And this cancel out. And you get minus f of p times two plus 30 newtons times three. Right? So here you get that negative 2f of b plus 30 times 3 is 90 and you get that you solve for f of b doing some basic algebra you're going to get that f of b is equal to 45 newtons now we have one of the forces we know that it's easy to find the other one by doing some of the forces at y is equal to 0 and that is equal to minus 30 plus f of b minus f of a we already have f of b so if we plug that in and we solve we're going to get that f of a is equal to 15 newtons simple enough right now 
this, which you see right here, is the initial state, right? But what is the final state? The final state looks something like this. You, you're going to pull this down at C, right? And I'm going to draw it on, on top of it just to try uh, and make it a little more clear. But it's going to look like something like this. Let me just color it a little bit just so you guys can see it. Now, there's something here that you got to pay attention to. This is the final, let's put final. So, you know, initial and final. You know, notice this distance right here. I'm going to call this distance L A. And then notice this distance right here. I'm going to call this distance L B, right? So, the angle theta right here is the same angle here, theta. This is the same angle, right? If I keep going on this line, you're going to notice that this distance LB is also the distance right here, LB, right? And if I draw this triangle down here, this looks like LA, LB. This is 2 meters because this is where B is at. That was my cat, I'm sorry. And this is point A. And this is theta, right? Now, LA and LB, we don't have them, but we can find them because we have F of B and F of A. F of B is equal to K times LB, right? So F of B is equal to, uh, actually, let's do F of B over K is equal to LB. F of B is equal to 45 and k is equal to 100, which means that this is 0.45 meters. Same trail of thought for, for um, LA. We know that F of A is equal to k times LA, which means that LA is equal to F of A over k, which is 15 over 100, which is 0.15 meters, 0.15 meters, right? So you know that LA plus LB is equal to 0.45 plus 0.15, which is 0.6. And look, we have some basic trigonometry problem. You know that the 2 times the sine of theta is equal to 0.6, which is the sum of this 2. And you just solve for theta. How do you solve for theta? Theta is equal to sine inverse of 0.6 over 2, theta is equal to 17.46 degrees. Final answer for theta, FB and FA.